given you the courtesy. I've given you the courtesy. I've given you the courtesy to listen to you. Please let me complete. Please let me complete. No, it's not lies. I can bring. Okay, sir, sir, sir. You can lie about Jesus. You are lying. So that, I, sir, sir, you're sir. Keep it basic. Can you can you, you can you let me speak for you, at least two minutes? No, because. To say that he died for your sins. There's yeah. evidence in the Bible, mate. Yeah. Get out of his system. We've asked all these questions. You could interpret the Bible okay. the wrong you, way. Okay, oh, no, no. here's the thing. Look, let's lay down the foundation, yeah? My belief is based upon the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, not because my imams tells me, my Great leaders question. tells me, say, yeah? Um, Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God? Yeah, in the Quran. That's one of the, that's one of the regions, yes. Do you know what yes. it says in the Bible? It says yeah. the word became flesh. Okay, is that the words of Jesus? Hmm? Is that I'm, I'm putting your crown what it says, it is the word of God, no. and it says the Bible, the word became flesh. Okay, when it says the word became flesh, what is the understanding of the word became flesh? Jesus' the son came into flesh. Okay, for a reason, now, purpose. John's gospel, you're quoting from John. How much do you know about John's gospel? I'm not a massive scholar, I just had, I just count on God every day okay. to you, fair these are, these, <laughs> look, look, these are fundamental questions that everyone has to ask here. Yeah? I'm not talking about a Muslim versus a Christian. I'm just talking about the fundamental questions that we all have to question ourselves. Okay, who authored Matthew, Mark, Luke and John? Who authored these 27 books? Yeah. Okay. John's Gospel, I don't know who he is. All of the biblical scholars, by consensus, none of them know who wrote John. And you put your salvation in that document. Well, I, I put my salvation in, well you put your uh, salvation in Muhammad. You don't know who Muhammad no, is. No, I don't put my salvation in Muhammad. Well, you, I put, you I, put the revelation? Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, I, no. I, yeah, I can, no, no, wait, what, one second, one second, with the, pres, with the, with the Quran, we know the transmission, we know, we, yeah, we know, we, we, we know the transmission of the Quran, yeah, it's called Ijaza, I mean, it teaches certificate, we even have today, who teaches the Quran to the students, and the chain of narration goes all the way back to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay, yeah. okay? we know each and every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. We spoke yeah. about the, the word because the Quran's not corrupt, is it? No, so the, we said it I, cannot I, I, be I go with you. Fair enough, we can say it's not corrupt, but being the truth is another separate reason. Yeah, I know. So if I said to you, why, you, why do you believe in Islam? There's 2,500 religions. You believe in the book. You believe in Muhammad. I understand. But have you encountered God? Okay, have it, you felt the presence right. of God? Okay, that's all subjective. I, I want to look at objective, but the most important thing. Okay, what it encounters God, right. which is real. Not. Right. So why don't we scrutinize <laughs> that? Because you see, exactly you see, what I told you, you see, earlier. you see. Look, look. We're not. Look, 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 look. We're not talking about feelings or opinions. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about objective facts. Revelations. Okay? And revelation. Correct. And that's my revelation. Right. But but uh, now, yeah. But my question is, have you critiqued who authored John's gospel? Who authored Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Have you done that? I should do it more. I'll be honest, as a Christian, I, I'm studying the word more because I was a lukewarm okay. Christian for a while. Right. But the one thing that changed that was yeah. a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. Okay, but that's all subjective. Because the, the right. But, but, but is it real though? Is it did it happen? But the feeling look, 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 your feelings and my feelings are not objective facts. So if I if my arm broke and I prayed and it got fixed, no, no, no. that's yeah. just subjective. Yeah, that's subjective. Yeah? So so what? So what? That doesn't mean so it's that true. Doesn't, no, no, my, my point is this, you're a Christian today because you believe that Jesus is the Messiah. You believe that he was sent by God. And he's proved it to me. Right. Has God spoke to you? I'm not, look, I'm not doubting about Jesus Christ. I'm doubting about the Gospels that written about Jesus. How do you know that they, how do you know that what they have transmitted is true? I don't no, think, yeah, now, I you, can, you can question that. You right, right. But you don't know the authors of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Imagine if I present you a document and I tell you, believe in this, but you don't know the authors. Would you t would you believe it? Well, what, why does the author make it as, as crucial? If that, that person at that time was with Jesus, walked with Jesus, because because your own okay. Why do you need to know their name? You need to know their name because how do you trust that these are the words that Jesus spoke? Why do you trust? Because you didn't live at the time of Jesus, right? Yeah, so you're only trusting these documents. Well, you know the names of the people, but you don't know who the, named them. So what are you trying to say? You're, you don't know the. Um, how it could be credible. Yeah, that's according to biblical scholarship. Even your own Christian scholars mention, we don't know who wrote who wrote Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. If they, don't don't, if they don't, I'm fine with that. Because I encounter God every day, Matthew, the Holy Spirit. Bro. Hang, hang on, hang on. But that's subjective, that's not objective. If you are but the truth... Is, is it truth? Right. If yes. you are a, a true follower of Jesus, please be upon him. Wouldn't you go, wouldn't you believe what he told you to believe? Can I say, why do you say peace be upon him? Because he's already at the right hand. We, we say, we respect peace be upon him to all prophets and messengers. Uh, all okay. prophets perfect? Uh, perfect in conveying the message, yes. Without sin? 
What do you mean by sin? Uh, did all profit, were all prophets sinless? No, no pro prophet. Okay, well, so when you say sin, we believe that they're immune from major sins. Okay, like for example, committing idolatry, adultery, etc. We don't believe prophets do that. In terms of minor sins, like in terms of forgetfulness or human errors, yeah, that's part of their human nature, but they don't persist upon it. Okay, so in that sense, they're not. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're sin. They're sin in that regard, but they never commit major sins. But according so even to with the major ones, it doesn't matter because but, Muhammad had. Uh, you meant to have four wives in, the, in Islam, yeah, up to four wives. Yeah. But Muhammad had twelve or eleven or twelve. So okay. I'm a bit how he's but then, but then, according to the Old Testament, you believe David committed adultery? Isn't that a major sin? Yeah, but with, I don't follow David. I follow Jesus. So you Jesus can highlight things that people did wrong. But but do you consider the Old Testament to be sacred? Of course, but David was still right. a sinner. So 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 you believe this was authored by God. Yeah, but David was a sinner. I don't follow David. Wait, hang, he's telling I, a story. But you're, you're, you're actively following Muhammad. Who, but apparently he's exempt from the law. Wait, wait. Do you, wait, no, do you believe Muhammad is exempt from the law? Wait, hang on. You're, you're imposing your Christian understanding upon the Islam. No, no. Is, 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 so to the Quran, the, the word yeah. of the Quran, is yeah. Muhammad exempt from it? Does he have to follow it? Did he have of course to? he has to follow. He's so, a messenger of God. So, he's a prophet of so, God. He's, so, a, so he's he a slave to, of God. Yeah, so he had 11 or 12 wives. That's against the Quran. No, that doesn't go against the Quran. And I'll tell you why. First of all, oh, no, first of all, first of all, the Prophet peace was upon in marriages, nearly majority of these marriages are, at, who did he marry? Majority of them. Before, no before, Asia. is that the only one that you know? There was an old lady, but then she was too old. So. Was she the only old lady? He got married to divorcee, widows, older than him. But he didn't love now, him. now, in terms of the marriage with Aisha, it was a divine revelation. He didn't do it out of his own desire. Oh, yeah, is it, is it the marriage? Is, yeah, it's the marriage, yeah? Uh, now, right, so, so, so my question, okay, so how do you know about the marriage of Aisha? Can you find, okay, so if you want to know more details about the marriage of Aisha, can you find, so, so can you find any sources outside the Hadith regarding the marriage of Aisha? Well, it's in the Quran, in the Quran. To, uh, no, 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 Quran. I'm asking you, in terms of the marriage of Aisha, do you believe that's historically true? It happened. Tell me, I'm not so why are you bring no? You brought up about the marriage of Aisha, so I'm assuming well, you believe that. Going by BBC. No, sir, sir, sir. Look, you brought up about the marriage of Aisha to the Prophet. Okay. Do you believe this happened historically? Yes. Okay, brilliant. Where did you learn that from? from Which source? From the Quran. From from the Quran or from the Hadith? From the Quran. Right. It doesn't mention about the marriage of Aisha in the Quran. It's in the Hadith. It's in the Hadith. Yeah. Is that actually? Yeah, it's I in the hadith. It's not in the Quran. I've been told different things. I've been told this in the Quran. Okay, but but you can verify. I'm okay, not telling. Do, do you think she was mature enough for the prophet? Well, according to Aisha, what did she say? I'm asking you. I don't know. No, I'm asking you. I don't, I'm asking you. No, I don't okay, know. right, so, right. I don't know. Right. I'm it mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawood. She was mature enough. Yeah, she even testified. So she even testified that when a when a when a girl reaches the age of nine, she's considered to be a woman. Why? Because this was the custom at the time of the Arabian tribe. But not now. According to different countries, different maturity level. At but what that do you think? Do you think it's okay now? Okay, wait, hang on. Now, now here's the problem. Now you are appealing to postmodernism. And this is the problem. A lot of the Christians today are not following the traditional values. Because if you look back in first century Palestine, what was the average age of marriage for women? 12 years old. According to Catholic Encyclopedia, Mary probably got married when she was 12 years old. Now, I according to today, your, right, but hang on, no, I, no, I, 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 wait, I, I, but I can say, I no, can say that's yeah. wrong though. But sir, so sir, you, sir, so, 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 okay? so sir, sir, so that means you're appealing to secularism and liberal values. So I'm appealing to a just God. Where in the, okay, a, in, a, a, a yeah. not where in the Bible does it give you fixed marriage? I was honest to um, the menstrual cycle. Right, so there's no age fix. the first period? Right, so Aisha and Anha experienced her first menstrual, uh, menstrual cycle. Where's that in the Quran? It's in the Hadith. What verse? No, Hadith, Hadith. She even mentioned, I went through menstruation cycle, I got married at the age of six and consummated at the age of nine. She even said from her testimony, okay, because look, you're critiquing the age, you're critiquing the marriage of Aisha, but yet you want to dismiss Aisha's testimony that I was a woman when I reached the age of nine. Because that is according to the culture. Now today you're in taking, Britain, you're taking the hadith to agree with that statement. Yeah? But you're okay. But then the hadith says about the whole like sperm was in the womb of the woman or something. Or sperm was in the backbone of the man. Again, it's, it's in the Quran. It's not the hadith. And so wait, sir, right there, right there, you confirm okay. you are picking and choosing what you want from the hadith. Yeah, but sir, 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 with all due respect, yeah, you brought up about the marriage of Aisha. Yeah. And you said that She's this not is mature. wait, hang on, hang on. It's, it's one second, one second, sir. You meant you brought up about the marriage of Aisha, okay? 
I asked you, do you believe that this is a historical fact that the Prophet, peace be upon him, got married to Aisha? You said yes. I asked you, which other sources other than the Hadith does it speak about the marriage of Aisha? It's not in the Western sources. No, you're not getting my point again. I'm asking you, other than the Hadith, other than the Hadith, okay, other than... Oh, well, other than the hadith, I got a joke. other than the hadith, what other sources can you find to know more about the marriage of Aisha? How many sources would you like? No, I'm asking you, what other sources do you know other than the hadith? Then, no, no, so you I can't cherry pick which one you want to critique. Neither, neither, neither you can. You have to accept the okay, hadith. I'm gonna, At the end of the day, as well, I don't think she's mature. I'm, it I'm says in the Quran. According to her, she says that she's mature. She was playing amidst the dolls. No. Do you think, do you think a girl is mature sir, playing sir, with dolls? Sir, then sir, then sir, last question. Do you, sir, think, do you think she was mature playing with dolls? Sir. Were there, sir, no, no, like, well, sir, 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 with all due respect, you, would, you don't sound like to me you're a traditional Christian, because even in this country, what is the canon law? If you, if you read um, William Blackstone, the English common law, a girl, a woman can get married at the age of seven. Did you know that? This is the English common law. Do you agree with that? No, I'm asking, do you agree with that? But that's according to Christianity. That's true. Okay, where's the fixed, okay, where's the fixed age of marriage in the Bible? Please tell me. Please tell me. I don't know. I'm not going to act like it's a specific age, but I can tell. Thank you. So if Aisha herself testified, I went through menstrual cycle, I reached the age of maturity, then, what, then who are you to say? Who are you to say that she was immature? She herself testified she was immature. I think, because I, I think the law of God is real. Are, are you law. speaking on behalf of her? No, no, well, I think a six-year-old. No, oh. no, no, no. I'm asking you, are you speaking on behalf of herself? She mentioned herself. I reached, I went through the menstrual cycle at the age of seven, and I consummated the marriage of the Prophet when would I was you, nine years old. So my question to you is this. Wait, 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 it's not I, just. I'm gonna go to the point. Sir, right, sir. What's your name anyway? Sir, no, no, wait, sir, sir. No, no, I'm. I'm this is gonna go. At the end of the day, I'm gonna tell so you. So you're this. not sincere, are you? I'm, are you? Are you here after the truth? No, I'm gonna tell you. No, man. you're not. So Jesus, you. So you let me. Jesus is the way. Do you know if you're going to heaven? Surah 46:9. Allah doesn't know. Oh, sorry. What? Muhammad. Muhammad doesn't know. Surah 46:9. Uh, Muhammad doesn't know. I but you believe Jesus went through hell. No, you're changing the subject. No, but you <laughs> believe that Jesus went through hell. So, so, wait, 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 wait. First point. Okay, no, no. We're, okay, we're going to go on a personal level. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to go at Islam. You don't want to talk about objective facts, do you? No, because you don't come with objective facts. You like to twist the minute. But I'm giving so you evidence. What, what, okay, there's 2,500 religions. Why do you believe in Islam? So now you're. Uh, wait, hang no, on. We're going to keep it basic. We're not going to go. No, sir, sir, sir. Oh, this sir. Is this, Sir. Because we can say this. First, first no, of no, all. No, no, listen, listen. So I'm going to be fair. You could say there's a lot of evil in the Bible. Fair enough. I could say there's a lot of evil in the Bible. I, I never okay. said the evil in the Bible. We, we, both, <laughs> we both have faith in what we believe, correct? So I'm I, saying, is it based on facts? Is it based on your? Is it based on evidence? It's based on God encounter. Where, okay. Like so if you were, okay. First of all, first of all, I want to make this very clear. When it comes to marriage, okay. it's not just puberty. She has to be, uh, the man and the woman has to be mature. Because you know what? Do you agree so that? You, do you think she was one second. Do you think she was mature? Sir, sir, sir. She testified she was mature. <laughs> I what? Can't, I can't do that. What? She testified? Scientifically, no. She's playing with dolls, my friend. I didn't say scientifically. She's playing with dolls. Dolls? She's playing with dolls. You do not. The hang on. You do know there are so many adult women that still have dolls. You do know that. <laughs> that's not a sign of immaturity. Yeah, that's the saying. This day you can have a man in a diaper because they're mentally ill. Do you know what Sorry? It doesn't mean a diaper is for can a man. Can a 40 year old be mature? Okay, if you have a 40 year old disabled, mentally uh, uh, retarded person, is she fit to get married? Is a six year old. Wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Does a six year old have the choice to get married? Huh? Does a six year old have the choice to get married? Yes. What, what, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We're not allowed to force. How, okay, how much do you know about marriage in Islam? I'm going to leave you with this, my friend. I've been here for about five hours. End of the day. Five hours, wow. Jesus will make this to you. There's, there were Pharisees, like you, you're a smart man. There were Pharisees who knew the world inside out, thought they were going to heaven. Matter of fact, they weren't. They're the people Jesus condemned. Are you going to heaven? Because they thought they were good Are you going to heaven? Jesus Christ. Okay, what did Jesus. Right. To me. What did God Jesus. Okay, what no, did. I'm not going to waffle on. No, Jesus sir, sir. You're not going to control the discussion here, sir. I, I have the Holy Spirit every day. You don't have the Holy Spirit. I have supernatural. What is the most important commandment because of Jesus? What's the most important. No, shall I bring it up? Because you haven't read the Bible. I bring it up. It says, I, I memorized, I memorized. It mentioned the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. The teacher of the law asked him, Good master, what is the most important commandment? Jesus says, The most important commandment is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one.
Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with your soul, with all your mind. So what you did, and this is not coincidence, because I've been speaking to Christians for many years. They always love to quote the second part of the of the greatest command, like you did. But you always when want to. Like, right, right, sir, 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 sir. Be patient. Be patient, sir. Be patient, sir. Sir, be patient. Be patient. Sir, be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Now you are misquote. You misquote. You don't love Jesus because you didn't quote him correctly. You didn't quote him correctly. I. Should, should I bring up the Should I bring up the quote? Can, I, can somebody? You're you didn't. To, you didn't read the Bible properly. You're gonna to have to stand before a holy just God. You have to look. You have sinned a million of times. God. Yeah? Ha, God how, just. How many times did you sin? Sir, God testified right in front of me. Wait, sir. Have you sinned? How many times did you sin? Wait, hang on. I'm not here to expose my sin in front of you. How many though? You don't have to tell me. How many have you? Millions. How many have you? Yeah, millions as well. Millions. So now, so now I'll answer your question. Get to heaven? Sir, sir. How, how are we gonna get to heaven? Sir, sir, sir. We are not gonna get to a Okay, I'll let you speak and I'll be quiet. God is a just God. Literally in the Bible, he's just. He's all loving, but he's all just. He has to uphold the law. If you had um, a ticket for a, a hit and run, say a speeding ticket, you went to that law and you said, Judge, I know I've got this ticket, but I've done a lot of good in my life. The just God, was, uh, sorry, the just judge would say, What are you on about? I'm not judging your thought you've done good, but what you've done bad. You have to give an account for your bad, my friend. It's through Jesus, man. In the Old Testament, they had sacrificial lambs as an atonement of the sin. So I know you believe Jesus is a prophet, fair enough, but I'm saying because he was perfect, he could do the atonement. For all sin. That's the story of the gospel. Okay, sir. So, so wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I've, I, I've, well, I've given you the respect. Well, I'll, I'll give you the respect. I'll give you the respect. First of all, first of all, you. First of all, no, I'm not going to waffle. Sorry, I'm going to. I'm not going to quote. I'm going to quote. I'm going to quote. I'm going to quote exactly what Jesus said, which you misquoted him. Your, your, your good master, Jesus Christ, who you love, you misquoted him because you, because I asked you. I, I asked you. No, no, I asked you. Sir, sir. You believe someone else was put on the cross. Sir, 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 no, sir, 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 I've given you the courtesy, I've given you the courtesy, I've given you the courtesy to listen to you, please let me complete, please let me complete, no, it's not lies, I can bring, okay, sir, 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 you can lie about Jesus, you are lying, so, okay, so, so, you're so, going to keep it basic. Can you, can you, you, can you let me speak for you, at least two minutes? No, because you're going to go on and on. It's going to go forever. Have you encountered God? Have you encountered? Wait, one have, second. Have you encountered sir, God? Sir, I'm going to leave it sir. this. I'm sorry, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to be stubborn. I, I care for you. I'm not stubborn. I love you. No, no, I said I would believe you. You don't love me. No, I do. Man. I'll prove it to you. Jesus, I'll you. prove it to you. I'm telling you. What? You think you're going to go to heaven? Sir, sir. Even this sir. One, one sect out of the 12. So you could be at the wayside. That means you're not in that one sect. I'm telling you, it's not for works. Heaven is perfect, my friend. It's not 72 virgins, it's not alcohol, it's not even in the Hiddies they say about pictures and you go into a picture and, and have sex with whoever, it's not man. Heaven is the presence of God. You are in his presence for eternity. So I'm telling you, man, that's just... Are you finished? I'm, I am finished. Okay, so can you let me complete? He loves you so much. Can you let me complete and then you can go? Shake your hand, my God. No, can you let me complete and then you can go? He loves you so that, That's fair, that's fair. But that's fair. No, because he's going to twist scripture. Yeah, but sir. All I've had is people twist scripture. Sir, sir, sir. Do you know sir. What I said? I, could, I someone, could someone bring up Mark 12, 29 and let's see who twists the Bible. Can you please bring it up? Could, could you please bring it up? Please bring it up. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tolerate, I'm not going to tolerate that accusation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm never going to go with you. Wait, wait, wait. One second. One second. You don't follow Jesus. Come, come, come here. No, no, no. Come here. Sir, sir, come here. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? You accuse me of twisting the Bible. Let's bring it up. Thank you. Let's bring it up. Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. Mark. No, no, no. Right. Right. You, you know what? You know what, sir? I would have let you go if you haven't said that I'm twisting the Bible. You ne no, you defend me. I have the right to justify. I have the right to. I have the right to self-defense. Okay. So. Let's see who twists the Bible, a Christian like yourself or a Muslim? No, I'm not gonna have it. Okay. No, 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 no. One second. One second. So so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So so let me let me remind let me remind. Let me remind. I asked him, I asked him what I asked him. I'm gonna speak over you because you're not showing any respect. I I asked this Christian gentleman. Wait, come here, sir. No, I have the right to self-defense. You can't just go like that. Okay, that's you expert here. No, sir, 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 you just defamed me. No, you defamed me. You said I twisted your scripture. You yeah, said you I twisted you and I'm, the scriptures all the time. You don't even what's, what's the greatest command we come to Jesus? Eh? What's the greatest command come to what's Jesus? What's the greatest command? What is the message of Jesus? What is the greatest command? No, just ask me. You're not answering what is the message of Jesus? I'm not answering your question your way. What is the message of Jesus? With all respect, you don't know the content. What